Oh, water's so nice. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Two. We're planning on going to Ronde Island. Nada! We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. After splashing Lady Africa in the water again, it was time to get moving. So we left Clark's Court now and we're off to St. George's. We're going to stay there for tonight and then head off to Kerikou tomorrow which is exciting because we're super super excited to go see some new stuff and explore again and sail. Are you excited to be going? I am. We might have a little bit of a wet ride down. Some ominous clouds. Here's to the motion of the ocean again. A little confused today, uh, but at least it's not crazy swells. There we go, and it's a short hop to the next spot. But yeah, short shops are so irritating because we're like doing this all time. Oh. And our bride is not the same. Ricky's just saying the cruise was made because he's going to be social today. Um, so I'm just going to go make us some coffee because we woke up early and uh, get our day started. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. So one of the tasks we still have to do when we um, find a nice little lull where there's no wind which seems to be kind of impossible at the moment. Um, we have to put up our Genoa, our massive head sail. Um, so, because we didn't manage to do that because we had to clean out the fur a little bit because there was gunk in it and it was sticky. So we cleaned it up and then the wind picked up so we couldn't put up the Genoa. So now we're going to wait for a time to put the Genoa. So we could put our head sail up but you know what, it's such a short hop. After a 9 nautical mile motor, we had arrived in St. George's for some provisioning. So we're, up, we're at our new spot. Ricky's gonna quickly find an excuse to go in the water. I don't know where he went. Might remember it from when we first got to Grenada. Um, so we are. So. Good. To get bridal system way better now. Yeah. Oh, 
water is so nice. Ah. <sighs> Paradise. We're off just to go update our cruises permit and then we're gonna go do some grocery shopping. And, and then we've we got to organize fuel. Organize what? Fuel. fuel. Yeah. And get and we've got an island water world to get a priming a bowl. bowl. And that's working. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and get a dinghy lock-up thingy because uh, we need a lock-up on dinghy. Oh, that's nice. Good day, ma'am. How do you do? What? Show me the money. That's nice. Coming from South Africa, you don't see so many super yachts. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, it's dead. That's even cool. Let's go get our cruise permit renewed and go shopping. After a few stops at the supermarkets and boat chandleries, it was time to head back to the boat. The shit Ricky makes me do. Like I'm like, like have to go like that. that. <laughs> we're, too fat. we're too fat. <laughs> I'm still looking at him and be like, I'm going to Like I predicted, we didn't make it. So we have to turn around and go around. Like I oh, asked Ricky to do it the first time. Nearly made it. Oh, we are loaded. We got so much groceries. It's great, great. The next day it was time to head off to Ronde Island with a pit stop in Dragon Bay. I'm gonna go check this little culture park over here. If we go around, there's another bay, we'll check that out as we make our way north. But we're going to is there, correct? Yeah, there's one here, but Dragon Bay is around the corner. I think around the corner. And we just came from there. We grabbed a mooring ball in Dragon's Bay and went diving. We have dived the sculpture park before, so if you want to see that episode, it's linked up top. Good. Good. Woo. 
trouble equalizing, but still some beautiful fish. After a good freshwater rinse, it was time to unhook off the mooring ball and head off to Rondo Island. He promised me that if there's anything haunting you. The nice uh, little swim, we're off to. We're planning on going to Rondo Island but we might be beating for a little bit too long so we're gonna see how it goes once we get around the bend and then we'll take it from there maybe we'll just cruise around here we'll see pretty much wind's gonna turn tomorrow so we're gonna settle down that is 20 to 25 knots off the point which is quite a bit of wind here and it's are. beating into the wind do we have to grab a marine ball at Rondé Island? No, I think we have to. Rondé Island is a 20 nautical mile sail away from St. George's. It lies between Grenada and Kariku, making it a good stopover. Why you got no sales up, senorita? Because <laughs> we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> And beating, or like Ricky says, eating shit the whole way. It's no fun, but the water's clearing up, it's getting bluer, it's getting prettier. Just white horses all day. We've got the wind on the nose, but the forecast doesn't change. This is just the one day that it's gotten slightly weaker. 25, 24 knots apparent. So, it is what it is. 
put the motor on. So we're having quite an eventful day today. We stopped first at the sculpture park and then a little bit further at one of the fishermen little towns. And now we're crossing the little channel between uh, Grenada and Ronde Island, which is this island that we definitely want to dive and want to go check out what's happening here. And the weather turns better for tomorrow, so then we'll go from here to Kariaku when it gets us to see this island. Friends of ours have told us that there's 70, 80 foot vis here, so we definitely want to dive it. So super keen for that. But how cool is this view? Getting close. And of course we got the lines in the water. Hopefully soon we're gonna get a little a little nibble on the line. And then those guys have been with us since we left Grenada. Simone is catching up on a beauty rest. I need a nap. See the wind not forgiving you. Eh? Check it out. Good luck surviving on that. Not even big girls, John. We had arrived in Ronde Island and we're super excited to get in the water. Our private island for tonight. Nobody but us. We definitely are not used to being in the sun so <laughs> for so long anymore so we're feeling a little bit drained but we're having some quick lunch just uh, Italian sausage with some cucumber to replenish us and then we'll hop in the water. Gotta go get a lobster. Gotta right. get lobster for supper. Lobster. Find you don't lobster. catch, you don't eat. Don't catch, you don't eat. But before we go gallivanting, you know the first thing we always do is check the anchor. We made sure to try every nook and cranny we could find for lobster. We didn't catch any lobsters, but we did catch one amazing sunset. Stay tuned till next week as we head off to the beautiful island of Kariaku. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.